Hi, I'm Brian with Intel. As you may have heard, Intel Stratix 10 FPGAs are shipping. In this first in a series of videos, I'm going to show you the high-speed serial I.O. of Stratix 10. To meet the needs of data processing for next-generation high-performance systems, FPGAs need to get information into and out of the device as fast as possible. And that's where our Stratix 10 comes in. In this demo that we have here, we show the Stratix 10 transceiver operating at 28 gigabits per second for both transmit and receive functions. Here we have the Stratix 10 signal integrity board with a Stratix 10 device underneath the heatsink. The transceiver is set up as a transmitter outputting a 28 gigabit per second PRBS7 pattern, which is connected to a high-speed scope where we've captured the signal and displayed it as an eye diagram. As you can see, the signal is running at 28 gigabits per second with a nice wide clean eye opening and the resulting transmit jitter performance is very good at 8.8 .8 picoseconds. Now we'll take a look at the receiver performance. In this demonstration, we are using one Stratix 10 device as a pattern generator to create a 28 gigabits per second signal, then transmit it over QSFP connectors connected to a three meter long cable to mimic the traces on a customer's board or backplane. Finally, the signal is received by the Stratix 10 receiver located on this second board. Inside the FPGA receiver, there is a built-in data checker. Here you can see the FPGA is able to recover the signal without errors at 28 gigabits per second. Now that you have seen the results, let's look at how we achieve this and scale up to 56 gigabits per second in the near future. Intel Stratix 10 FPGA transceivers are built using a heterogeneous system in package integration technique. Transceivers are built on separate pieces of silicon called tiles, which include the analog transceiver blocks and hardened protocol IP stacks. These tiles are integrated with the core fabric die in the same package using Intel's patented Embedded Multi-Die Interconnect Bridge, or EMIB. This has advantages over other multi-die packaging technologies, including high performance, reduced complexity, and enhanced signal and power integrity. For example, we can introduce new transceiver variants with faster data rates and tailored hardened IP solutions without needing to redesign the base core fabric. There are three different tiles that will be incorporated into the various Stratix 10 families, each with different data rates and hard IP features. The L and H tile are shipping, and E tile is currently in development to enable a dual mode 56 gigabit per second PAM4 and 30 gigabit per second NRZ solution. The demonstration we showed earlier is based on the 2.8 million gate size Stratix 10 die combined with the H tile transceiver. Visit altera.com slash Stratix demos to view other videos and to order dev kits and devices.